My name is Mike Rice. My laryngectomy surgery was April the 2nd of 2013. Great, Mike, thanks. Um, what does it mean to you to have a voice? Well, it's funny, you don't realize what it's like to not be able to communicate and speak with people when you don't have one. But just the fact that uh, I can I can do my job, uh, I continue working, uh, play golf, I'm active at church, I teach Sunday school. Uh, my job it requires me to communicate with people on the phone, sometimes via uh, Zoom meetings, similar to what we're doing now, and in person. And that I can work with my hands and I can talk to people just like I did before my surgery. That's awesome, yeah. I think you're a great testament to hands-free speech for sure. Um, what type of uh, voice prosthesis are you using? Um, it's an ATOS. Uh, I guess it's called an indwelling uh, voice prosthesis that I I go to UK twice a year and get them to change it. So great, great. And what's something in particular you're able to do thanks to your voice? Well, uh, I mentioned, uh, like I said, I've, I've taught Sunday school class. I can do tech support via the phone via meeting or zoom meetings or, or in person it's just easier i found out that people don't read lips very well so and i have terrible penmanship so it makes all the difference in the world that i can actually talk to people and communicate with people just like i did before my surgery that's great uh and then last how has atos helped you well really it's a blessing i met you uh, uh, I bet um, the people I've dealt with when ordering products so far have been very helpful. Um, so I'd say ATOS has been a big part of me actually having my voice back and being able to communicate with people. Uh, I would have loved to have been able to do the esophageal speech without anything because it just makes you a little more independent. But but ATOS has been a very helpful and flexible and having a, a fairly normal voice. Yeah. That's great. All right. Well, thanks for your time. I'm going to stop recording now.